Hey guys, I hope you're still keeping super super well. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel. My name is Pemi T and I'm always glad to have you. Now, now watching a giant falling is never a pleasant experience. Watching the African National Congress falling from grace is also not something so nice to witness. Yes, I fully understand that they did this to themselves. They allowed corruption to go so deep into the political party that they couldn't really recognize right from wrong anymore. So in this particular video, I'd like us to listen to what the president of the EFF, Mr. Julius Malema, had to say about the ANC. And I've given myself a personal task to ensure that in my lifetime, I want to see the ANC out of power. So that those who come after the ANC should know that no one is entitled to position of power. Uh, they must know that uh, there is no contract between politicians and the voter that says till death do us apart. There's no such a contract. Here, our marriage depends on your ability to deliver. We want a government which is a blesser to the poor. <laughs> if you are not a blesser to the poor as government, you are out. And uh, the, the poor masses of our people have done exactly that. Congratulations, South Africa. We are hopeful. We are highly motivated. We are soldiering on. We are winning this battle. I've never seen them so humbled, even on TVs, even on their table here. It's because Ramaphosa suffers from inferiority. He cannot work without white supervision. To invite the DA is to invite supervisors. It's not to invite progressive white people to come and join hands with us to rebuild South Africa. So we reject this government with everything it deserves for as long as it puts in white supremacists, it puts in Africanerdom, it puts in colonialism and imperialism will not be part of the new colonial government. Comrades and everybody else who seek to persuade us otherwise, we are making a plea, leave us alone. How can a president, when uh, metros are going, the biggest part of what is your constituency is going? Someone must tell me, what did Ramaphosa do to save the metros? One thing, one. What, except the underground movement of the Oppenheimers and uh, trying to facilitate deals amongst their they are, they are puppets and those they fund. What did Ramaphosa do, transparent? Where have you ever had such a thing? Where a party president, the party is losing power. The party president does nothing about it. We were told Ramaphosa is the best negotiator. But Ramaphosa has always been a fraud. He was sold to us by white media and white capital. But he's the best negotiator because he was repeating after what whites are saying in the negotiations. That's what made him the best negotiator. Then, the real time for negotiation came. Ramaphosa was nowhere to be found. So, where was the skills of the best negotiator? Look what happens in Deben. You know who got Deben? It was Jacob Zuma. Our SG was told by that guy who won, who, who switched sides of ABC. Mavunda that... No, let me put Zuma on the line. I'm talking to Zuma. Let's, put, let's talk to Zuma. Let me put Zuma on the line. Is Zuma an ace who negotiated a Teguini and won a Teguini? RET forces are the ones who won a Teguini. They were fighting there. Where was CR17? Where was the president of the ANC when all of this was happening? Cyril did not try. Why? His project of killing the ANC is working well, is succeeding. Why must he go around negotiating for the survival of the ANC when his project is performing well? Where was Cyril Ramaphosa when his party was losing power in the metros? What role did Cyril Ramaphosa play to save the ANC because we told he was going to save the ANC when his party was losing metros? And then we are told, no, Cyril is the best man. We are living to prove that Ramaphosa has never been a leader. He has always been a project. Now he has assumed a leadership responsibility and is getting exposed. 
that he has got no capacity, none whatsoever. Now, they are crying all over social media. Hey, Malema sold out. Malema, as if I'm their father. Hmm? They don't know where their father is. They must go and look for that big nose where he is. They must not say for me, I, I sold them out. I never sold them out. I'm not their father. I'm not their father. What do they want from me, these witches? They must leave me alone. They must go to hell and burn. We have no sympathy for the ANC. There's no friendship here. We are in politics here. Are, there's no friendship. We are not friends when it comes to politics. We are not leading a stock fail. We are leading a well-oiled machinery determined to collapse the ruling party and the Oppenheimers who are the financiers of Cyril Ramaphosa, Mashaba, and DA. We don't get any money from Oppenheimers. They will never tell us what to do and what not to do. We do that which we think is in the best interest of our people. Thanks. Now, while we're still on that note, let's take a listen to what Helen Zilla from the Democratic Alliance had to say about the African National Congress and President Cyril Ramaphosa. We had one public representative in the whole of South Africa at that point, in Cake who Lake wants no. But believe me, no one would ever have said in their wildest dreams that within my lifetime, the National Party would be gone. And it is. And let me make a prediction. Because the ANC doesn't know what it stands for anymore, because it can't revert to principles, because it hasn't got any, believe me, in my lifetime, I will see that party die too. Now, last but definitely not least, let's listen to Prince Mashele, who is a political analyst as well as a writer. Let's hear what he has to say about the African National Congress. The ANC has been in the government of South Africa for almost 30 years, three decades. It has done four things. It has collapsed security in South Africa. Criminality is rampant. If you are a South African who live in communities, you will know what I'm talking about. It has failed to improve the quality of public education in South Africa. This gentleman and, and the lady don't want to take their kids to a township school. Forget what they say. It has collapsed public health in South Africa. I can tell you this gentleman has medical aid cards in their pockets and the lady. They don't want to go to uh, Tembisa Hospital when they are sick themselves. The first thing it has brought South Africa to its knees when it comes to a basic thing that is called electricity. They have taken South Africa to the dark ages. That is the ANC. 